Board President Richardson, Superintendent Corey, and distinguished board members. We are proud to be here tonight to present to you our 2020-21 Teacher of the Year candidates for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Each side in the district nominated a candidate and was selected by their peers to represent their school as the Teacher of the Year. If Suda President Nancy Dunn will read through the names and the honorees of each site tonight. And it will culminate at the end of the night when Superintendent Corey will announce the, the Fairfield Sassoon Unified District Teacher of the Year. We are proud of all of our teachers in the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District and find tonight's candidates to be representative of all their abilities. Now I would like to introduce Ms. Nancy Dunn who will introduce the candidates to you. June Alexander, Fairfield Sassoon Adult School. Those wanting to know what June does at the adult school will first have to slow her down long enough to ask. Trying to find out what she does might not be much easier. What is evident is the passion she puts into her profession. Joseph Arbizu, Armio High School. Settling for less is not Joseph's style. The lack of a collaborative schedule in the math department has not stopped Joseph from building collaboration. He also provides online learning tools to assist his colleagues in distance learning. April Bowles, Teacher of the Year, Anna Kyle Elementary. Coloring by numbers would be difficult for April because she would not stay inside the boundaries just as she reaches beyond just one groups of students. She wants every student at Anna Kyle to excel and is determined for each of them to read. Sarah Brink, Tolinas Elementary. Sarah does not settle for less. Distance learning has been a challenge, but she does not use it as an excuse for mediocrity. Her colleagues are amazed by how she invests in students with behavior issues so they will reap the dividends. Casey Cassis, Nelda Mundy Elementary. Teaching physical education is not just rolling out the balls and blowing a whistle for Casey. Her colleagues can count on Casey to give them a shot in the arm because she is a bubbly, upbeat, positive, and creative person. Fern DeSena, Sassoon Valley. First year teachers have little to fear at Sassoon Valley because Fern is always ready to come to the rescue. The resource teacher is as patient with her new colleagues in teaching them the ropes of IEP meetings as she is with her students. Roxy De La Rosa, Sassoon Elementary. Roxy could use a hat rack because she wears so many. She runs student council, organizes kindness week, serves on the MTSS team and is the PTA liaison. As a colleague said, Roxy makes the school a better place for everyone. Don Gottman, David Weir. Don has defined distance learning by proving she is still close to her students. She drops off supplies and treats, mails letters, and makes calls to keep her students engaged. She also organizes yoga and Zumba workouts for the staff. Kat Goodwin, Virtual Academy. One of her colleagues can tell you all you need to know about Kat. As Steve Patton wrote, without a doubt, she is one of the most dedicated and inspirational educators with whom I have ever worked. More importantly, she is an amazing human being. Arthur Guerra, Bigail Wilson. Wonderful, dedicated, kind and genuine is how Arthur's colleagues describe the site program coordinator of English language development. His co-workers can now add Teacher of the Year to their growing list of superlatives. Nicole Harris, Cleo Gordon Elementary. Chances are the students who might believe Nicole is the meanest teacher at Cleo Gordon have never been in her class. Every teacher remembers his or her students first and last names, but Nicole also knows the middle name of each child. Shabana Johnson, Grange Middle School. COVID-19 has taken a toll on teachers and students from being in school. Shabana has refused to let coronavirus get her down, frequently checking in on her colleagues and boosting their spirits. Kristen Jones, Fairview Elementary. 
If Kristen had a choice, she would probably prefer one of her colleagues to be the Teacher of the Year. Awards are not how she measures her effectiveness as a teacher. She does not teach for her benefit. Her students are first and foremost. Anthony Rabadon, H. Glenn Richardson. Anthony's class is always half full, or maybe even more than that. There is nothing he will not or cannot do for his students. His positivity has made his students believe there is nothing that can stand in their way of achieving their goals. Mike Sagan, Rodriguez High School. COVID-19 has led to several school events and activities being canceled. Mike took it upon himself to not let that happen at Rodriguez by turning events such as graduation and back to school night into digital video projects for his students. Sarge Singh, Green Valley Middle School. Sarge has been around long enough to know the way to a teacher's heart is through his or her stomach. That is why he occasionally fixes breakfast for the staff and that is why he teaches physical education to burn off those tasty calories. Karen Smith, Early College High School. Karen is one of the original teachers of the program in which students take high school and college classes. Their success, a 100% graduation rate the past three years, is a testament to what Karen has meant and brought to the program. Deborah Streak, Public Safety Academy. Her smile is a dead giveaway. Debbie enjoys teaching and likes to add a dash of fun to each assignment for her students. Her creative ideas are often borrowed by her colleagues because they have seen the results in Debbie's teaching techniques. Art Sullivan, Matt Garcia. This is the final year for Art and he is going out with a bang. He has not let distance learning diminish his teaching. The Notre Dame football fan tackles each day with a positive tenacity. Art is also serving on the FSUDA Executive Board. Kelly Sanseri Samietto. Kelly is known as Sunny, and not just because the moniker is a clever twist on her last name. She is as bright in instructing students as she is when she is coaching a softball team or rooting for the Oakland Athletics. She is truly an all-star. Adrian Thomas, Crystal Middle School. To infinity and beyond is one of the most remarkable movie catchphrases of all time. Buzz Lightyear might have inspired one of Adrian's colleagues to say the teacher travels beyond infinity to reach her students. Now that is buzzworthy. Miguel Torres, Dan O'Root 2. Health and Wellness Academy means more to Miguel than four words. The physical education teacher has embraced the site name as his mission to enhance the fitness of students by offering activities and sports to keep them on their toes. Darcy Vogelsang, Oakbrook. Darcy inspires her colleagues by showing time after time how much she is invested in her students and her colleagues. She surely appreciates her efforts being recognized, but the respect of her colleagues is worth more than a frame certificate. Devana Weister, Dover. Nothing is impossible for Devana's students as far as she is concerned. The eighth grade teacher refuses to let them think less of themselves when they struggle with an assignment by encouraging them to believe they can and will get it right. Christine Whitcliffe, K.I. Jones Elementary. It would be so easy in these turbulent times for Christine to lose focus on her job and her students. There is little chance of that, however. Christine is eager to do whatever she can for a student and always willing to lend a hand to any staff member. Regina Williams, Fairfield High. Few people in a city of more than 100,000 residents are as recognizable as Regina. She has never been one to seek attention, but it finds her because of her willingness to do anything for anybody. Her generosity and kindness are limitless.